Hi everyone, welcome to The Precious Years. This is Saida, Hidayah, and Ayana, and we wanted to share some candy science fun with you that we've been enjoying at our home. And now that Halloween is over and you have all those leftover candies, why not use it for some fun and make it science fun? <laughs> First, we made a pattern of rainbow Skittles, alternating the colors on a white or light colored plate and added some warm water in the middle. The result was a beautiful art as the colors let out. And then as all budding scientists would do, Hidayah decided to pour some dish soap in the middle. And the result was that the dish soap separate the colors and we concluded because soap is more dense, it did not seep in all the colors. Ayana decided to add milk as the liquid and what we saw was that the colors did not let out on the top. But when we were cleaning the plate, we saw that it did let out the color underneath the milk residue, so we concluded that the fat protein in milk isolated the colors. Ayana then decided to use vinegar as the liquid, and what we saw is that the colors did let out, but it took a just a bit longer than the warm water did when first Daya tried it. So we conclude that the best result to see beautiful color pattern is to use alternating pattern of Skittles with warm water. So I hope you guys will give this uh, a try and let us know how you liked it. leftover milk so why not use it up so what we did is we filled a bowl with milk and added a, a splash of three different colors uh, we used blue green and red we then put a drop of dish soap on a q-tip and just gently dabbed the q-tip in the middle um, and we saw a great color explosion uh, we had done this when the girls were a little younger but even now they love seeing the explosion of colors and making a uh, tie-dye pattern. Hidayah tried to dab with more soap and it didn't work. Nothing calls out fall like candy corns in October around Halloween time. I grew up munching on them because I didn't know better when I was little. And now that I know better, I know it's filled with sugar. But I wanted to uh, show my girls, so we decided to experiment with it. We fill little cups with different liquids, warm water, vinegar, oil, milk, and rubbing alcohol. We started by experimenting to see if the candy corn would dissolve float or sink in the different types of liquid. The girls ver verbally told me their predictions. You could also have them write them down. Then we placed the candy corns in different types of liquid. We saw the quickest change in the warm water. It dissolved quickly and little thin paper-like matter floated on top. It dissolved in a few hours with all the other types of liquid as well, except oil. Candy corn stayed intact. We also tried to see what happens if we heat up the candy corn to place it in the microwave for 30 seconds. We saw some bubbling and it all melted, stuck to the glass saucer. Nonetheless, it showed the girls that candy corn is nothing but color, sugar, and water mixed in. So, needless to say, we threw away the leftover candy corn. Hit the red subscribe button below and share with your family and friends. Until next time, have an awesome day and happy homeschooling!